Christum Pilchel. This theory was proposed by H. Beth and Von Wack during 1929-1932 for explaining the optical properties of ionic crystals where a positive ion is surrounded symmetrically by some negative ions depending on the coordination numbers. They wanted to know the effect of presence of anions on the energy of orbitals of cation and vice versa. Hence, the name of the theory is crystal field theory. Since the situation of ions in any crystal can be compared with that in a coordination sphere where a metal atom or ion is surrounded by mostly negatively charged ligands. Hence, this theory was extended to metal complexes with the view to study the energy changes in orbitals, especially d orbitals of central metal atom or ion, due to the presence of several ligands surrounding it. The important postulates of this theory are as follows. First, ligands are treated as point charges, hence it is assumed that attraction between the metal atom or ion and the ligands is purely electrostatic. Second, there is no interaction between metal orbitals and the ligand orbitals. Third, the d orbitals of the metal atom or ion are degenerate in the free state. However, when a complex is formed, then the surrounding ligands destroy this degeneracy of d orbitals. Now, in order to understand the destruction of degeneracy of d orbitals, we must first revise the shapes of the five types of d orbitals. All the five d orbitals can be classified further into two categories. Three of them, that is dxy, dyz and dzx are called planar. They are also known as t2g which means triply degenerate and g stands for g ring which we have already learned in the chapter of chemical bonding while studying molecular orbital theory. The other two are called axial, that is dx square minus y square and dz square because axes are passing through their lobes. These are also called eg, means doubly degenerate and g-rayed. The shapes of five types of d orbitals with their two classes are given in the following figures. In a free state of the metal atom or ion, all the five d orbitals are of equal energy, that is degenerate. But ligands approach the metal atom or ion then the electrons in these d orbitals are repelled by the lone pairs of the ligands. As a result of this interaction, the degeneracy of d orbitals is lost and they split up into sets of orbitals known as T2g and Eg. The energy gap between these sets is called crystal field splitting Delta. The magnitude of delta depends on the number of ligands and their positions around the central metal atom or ion. Thus, if six monodented ligands are approaching the metal so as to form an octahedral complex, then delta will be written as delta O. O stands for octahedral. And similarly, for tetrahedral field, it will become delta T.